Hey there, this is Matt Ballack from VidiSEO.com, and today I'm going to show you how to edit your new YouTube channel. Um, what do I mean by new? Well, on July 15th, 2009, YouTube pushed out a complete redesign of all YouTube channels. Of course, this news was met with its fair share of healthy criticism, some less positive than others. But I can see where they're coming from. I mean, well, here's, here's my old channel. God, and she a beaut. It's gonna be tough to let go. But ultimately, there's a lot to like about the new YouTube channel designs. And I'm confident that in time, people will quit their whining and move on with their lives. So, I'll be happy to show you the new channel design, but first, let's get rid of this old jalopy. And here we are. Um, I guess I can see what, what people are complaining about. Uh, Yikes. I mean, look at these colors. Uh, this entire channel looks pretty fugly. Thankfully, uh, a lot of the same stuff that you're used to is still here. Uh, it's just the whole place needs a fresh coat of paint. So how we're going to do that is with the edit channel bar right up here. So what do you say we take a closer look? Follow me. The edit channel bar is what's known as a WYSIWYG editor. Uh, that stands for what you see is what you get. <clears throat> there we go. So that means any changes that you make on the bar will be reflected automatically below, which is pretty sweet. So let's take a peek, starting with the settings tab. Underneath the settings tab, you have two to three basic things. You can choose a URL for your channel, set a title for your channel, uh, remember to incorporate some important keywords uh, that people might be searching for, and you can set channel tags. Again, think about how people are searching for your type of video or your channel and make sure those exist here. Moving along to the fun stuff, we have the themes. As you can see, YouTube provides nine pre-designed themes for you to choose from, but to be honest, I'm not really in love with any of them. Uh, go ahead though and choose one that has some of the colors that you think you might want. Then enter a name for your own custom theme right here. Uh, once you do so, uh, your own custom theme will be added to the right along with all the others. Then click on the show advanced options and here you'll be able to set specific colors for every item on the screen. You can click on the color square to uh, get a swatch and choose a specific color. Or if you know the hex number, go ahead and enter that in as well. You're also able to change the font, which is a nice little touch. And as before, you can also upload a background image. Uh, this is a great way to add a little pizzazz to your channel, uh, but again, take some trial and error to get the image size and look just right. So feel free to experiment with that and get it to your liking. Lastly, a feature that was recently added, which I'm glad made the cut, is transparency. Uh, again, this adds a really nice touch to the channel. You can adjust the transparency levels here so that certain areas of your background image can still be seen through uh, some of that wrapper and modules inside. Be sure to hit save once you have everything the way you like, and then we'll move on to the last tab, which is modules. Now, modules is one of those words that puts people to sleep right away, so I'll be fast, because it is quite simple. All you're really doing here is hiding or showing information on your channel. Things like friends, subscribers, comments, recent activity, groups, and subscriptions. If you want to show it, click it. If you want to hide it, then make sure it's unclicked. And it's really that simple. Once those items uh, are on your channel, you can hit save, and then right on the channel itself, you can move these items around. You'll usually see about four little arrow icons. Clicking on those will move a module up, down, left, or right. And from that, most modules have an edit tab as well. As you can see with this particular one, I hit edit and I can change the number of rows that I want to display. So go ahead and play around with this and get it to your liking. Uh, another quick little feature here is on the recent activity. Uh, this is a nice little touch. It not only shows uh, who you've recently become friends with or subscribed to, but you can also use it in a similar fashion to a like a Facebook update or like a tweeter. And that's really the basics. And here we are. As you can see with just a couple simple changes, uh, you can have a great looking channel and let me just tell you it feels great. 
So thank you so much for joining me. Uh, my name is Matt Ballack uh, from VidiSEO.com. You can click on me right now, live clickable, to go to my YouTube channel and see it live for yourself. Uh, while you're there, make sure to go ahead and uh, hit subscribe for me. I would appreciate that. Um, you can also go ahead and rate this video. Uh, if you like it, then you should put some stars on it. Uh, but thank you again for joining me. Um, I hope I was able to uh, maybe save your life. Thank you again and have a great day. And you can click here at any moment in time as well.